YouTube, uh, Survival for the Poor. Got a pretty uh, daunting task ahead of me today. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I took all my stuff out of my old backpack and I've got it all laid out. Got a ton of stuff, just tons of stuff. And what I'm going to do is put it into my new backpack. Now the reason this is so daunting is because um, if you watched my my video about this bag, it has um, like a million pockets in it, you know. So many places to organize all your stuff. It's got just covered in pockets. And uh, I picked this new bag up from a friend for 50 bucks um, used. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, it's one of those army molly type bags. Um, but the thing about it is you got this little zipper pocket on the front right here and then just this whole bag is just one giant pocket um, aside from this uh, apparently that's where you put your maps or something and uh, it's just got this giant pocket and then on the bottom there's actually another bag attached and that is for your sleeping kit um, I do not have a sleeping kit. I only have a sleeping bag, so not sure what I'm going to put in here. Um, I might use this for storage too, so we'll see. The, uh, the reason I like this bag a lot is because it's got the uh, plastic frame around it, um, really good straps on it, and it's got the waist straps. So um, this bag is going to help me a lot with my weight problem that my old bag had. Um, this is going to make it a lot easier to carry it around. I'm just... Uh, not looking forward to packing all this stuff in there because I'm going to have to organize it in all into bags or something and put it in there. So this is not going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do and then I'll check back in with you guys. So I've made a little bit of progress. Um, what I've decided to do is I went and got the uh, Ziploc bags out of the kitchen and I've just been making... Um, like for instance, this Ziploc bag is all cordage. Um, so I've just been filling this thing up, putting everything in section bags. Like this is fire starting stuff. Um, this one's all food. So I've just been going down the line, putting everything in organized bags and uh, just filling it up. So. So far that's what I've figured out works best for me for this uh, one compartment backpack. Um, it's not my, how do I say it? You know, basically the only reason I bought this bag is for this um, weight support system. Um, I mean, it's not my ideal thing to be putting everything in one pouch, but it is what it is because my old bag was just killing my shoulders. It was just hurting so bad. Uh, I there's no way I would be able to walk 10 miles with that thing on my back. Um, this, however, uh, it's still pretty heavy when it's filled, but um, it's a lot more comfortable on your shoulders and back. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep putting this stuff in there in bags and sections. I'm kind of down to the stuff that I don't exactly know. Um, a how to put it in there like a fishing pole like I don't want to just throw my fishing pole in the the main bag because I don't want it to get bent or anything so I might attach that to the outside somehow um, yeah I'm just basically down to the last couple items that I don't really know what bag to put them in or where to put them so I'm gonna keep messing around with it and we'll check back in so there you have it it's all packed up um, it weighs a ton but I'm not so worried about weight. Um, that's why I bought a more comfortable bag. You know, I like to be comfortable. Um, I don't want to sacrifice comfort for weight. You know, I don't want to carry a specific item in my bag just because it weighed a little bit. I'd rather, <coughs> I'd rather have it. <clears throat> and sometimes um, I'm a little stingy. So, like all these pots and pans, they're kind of noisy and they take up a little bit of weight, but you know those cheapo mess kits those three-in-one fold-up little mess kits they're just pieces of junk uh, and in order to buy a, a decent fold-up little mess kit you gotta spend a pretty penny on it so I just go with these cheapo pots and pans whatever um, I got them all clipped onto the the frame of the backpack 
so you don't have to worry about that. And then uh, what I've done is I just put everything in here. Down here is sleeping bag, tarp, and rain gear. So that's kind of uh, the sleep system bag. That's what's in there. And this is the main bag up here. And uh, what I've done is I showed you a little earlier, but now it's all complete. Everything is just in here in uh, Ziplocs. You know, all sections, all uh, easily distinguished Ziplocs. You know, I have a lot of these camouflage bags because um, I got a couple beds in my house and, you know, we find uh, Walmart put all this camouflage sleeping stuff um, on clearance, like uh, bed sheets and stuff. So um, they all came with these kind of camouflage bags. So I have a lot of these, but I didn't want to use these to organize all my stuff because you can't see through them. So, um, you're going to want to use clear bags if you have a single pouch uh, bug out bag system. You're going to want to use clear bags for all your stuff. That way you can rifle through it real quick and, oh, that's food. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, oh, there it is, my uh, rat trap, you know. So, it's kind of annoying having just the one giant pocket, but it's something that I'm going to have to get used to. And, uh, you know, I'm always... I'm always testing my stuff out, switching stuff out, changing stuff up, switching stuff around. Um, it's a sad day to see my backpack go. You know, I've been using that thing for years. But I'm going to try this thing out, go for some hikes with it in the summer, uh, see how I like it. I got my hatchet attached to the outside. Got my fishing pole attached to the outside. First aid on the outside. Um, I got a lot of stuff strapped to the outside. I got my little solar powered flashlight on the outside so it's always charging got my little um, compass whistle type thing out here just so uh, I can see the temperature you know I don't know I like to know the temperature but yeah that's about it all my stuff is in there in bags in sectioned off bags easy to, easy to find um, easy to look through and that's about it you know, um, it's, this isn't my ideal backpack, but for carrying around as much weight as I carry, uh, this is what I needed. This just wasn't doing the trick. So, if anyone's got any suggestions about gear packing, let me know in the comments. Um, I know YouTube user uh, Keith Buds just did a video about backpacks. You can check it out on the link in the uh, description. Uh, he had a really cool hunting backpack made by uh, Redhead. Um, it would be cool to get one of those, but every time I'm at the store, you know, those backpacks are like 200 bucks, 150 bucks, and I just, I don't have that type of money to be spending. Got this from a friend used for 50 bucks, so not a bad deal. I'm going to try it out, see how I like it. Um, maybe if I don't end up liking it, I'll sell it. Who knows? But so far, I've been walking around the house with it, and uh, it's not hurting my shoulders or back half as much as that thing used to. Um, so yeah, that is how I packed my rucksack. So don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe and leave your comments because I'm not no expert and um, you guys a lot of times have a lot better ideas than I do. So thanks for watching guys. Survival for the poor.